Florida Governor Ron DeSantis putting out a warning to Vermont ice cream company Bed & Jerry's and its parent company Unilever over the decision to boycott the West Banks. In a letter to the state board administration, DeSantis writes, quote, should the board affirmatively place Unilever and its corporate entities on the scrutinized companies list and these companies do not cease the boycott of Israel as required by Florida law, the board must remain from acquiring any and all Unilever assets consistent with the law. Joining us now to discuss is Mark Klein, National president of the Zionist Organization of America and Charles Mizrahi, host of the Charles Mizrahi Show and editor of Alpha Investor. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today. So DeSantis isn't the only one pushing back on Ben and Jerry's. Republican Senator James Lankford called on his state of Oklahoma to block all sales of Ben and Jerry's. In a Twitter thread, the senator started, quote, hashtag Ben and Jerry's has now decided they know more about Jerusalem than the Israelis. If Ben and Jerry's wants to have a meltdown and boycott Israel, Oklahoma is ready to respond. Oklahoma has an anti-boycott of Israel law in place and can continue to say we should immediately block the sale of all Ben and Jerry's in the state and in any state-operated facility to align with our law. So, uh, Moore, I'll start with you. Do, do you agree with DeSantis and Langford? <laughs> 35 states have the law that says if you boycott the ally, our ally Israel, the state will not do business with you. They have the same laws saying if you discriminate against blacks, we will not do business with you. It's not a freedom of speech issue. They can still boycott Israel. But the state says, do what you want, but we won't do business if you do that. And what's amazing is that Ben and Jerry's claims it's against their values, what Israel does. This is a map of all of the Middle East. You can see the Arab countries are all in yellow. Uh, Israel's the tiny yellow. It's smaller than the state of Rhode Island. And, and yet they're going after one of the smallest countries in the world. And they talk about values they sell in the Palestinian Authority territories, even though the Palestinian Authority pays Arabs to murder Jews, names schools and streets after people who have murdered Jews. Uh, they talk about the filthy Jews. And, and they do posters like this. Of every Arab who murders a Jew, they put the poster of this nature in all the high schools and colleges, glorifying them. Is this Ben and Jerry's values? Uh, it's really outrageous. We've also asked the kosher authorities to not say, the, to eliminate the mm -hmm. kosher label for Ben and Jerry's. If, you, if you're racist and anti-Semitic against Jews, you are not kosher. And we're fighting for that to happen. And also, they talk about the occupation. Finally, Israel's given away all of Judea and Samaria, 40% uh, of Judea and Samaria, all of Gaza. That's where 99% of the Arabs live running their own lives in every area except security. Yeah. So there is really no occupation. It's a lie that Ben & Jerry's is promoting. Yeah, I want to get uh, Charles a chance to weigh in. Your thoughts on this? Well, I couldn't agree more with Mort. Uh, I think I just want to add one more thing on that. Out of all of the countries and locations throughout the world that Ben & Jerry sells to, the only place they have a boycott is Israel. Now, that should tell you something. This anti-Zionism is nothing more than anti-Semitism in its most vile state, just disguised and dress up to be anti-Semitic, to be anti-Zionist, rather. And uh, it, when you talk about the company's values, uh, it, it just makes no sense to me from the perspective of you're asking the CEO of Ben & Jerry's, Avi Zinga, who is a licensee of um, Ben & Jerry's and allowed to sell it there, not to sell to certain people. He says, I'm not going to discriminate. There are, they talk about East Jerusalem. Uh, there are over 200,000 plus Israeli Arab citizens with full rights. They're not supposed to be sold to. Isn't that mm -hmm. discrimination? This is what Ben & Jerry's is promoting. This is nothing more than anti-Semitism in its rawest, most vile, most disgusting format. Yeah, we're already seeing several Jewish and kosher markets. They're pulling the creamery products from their stores. Do you think that the company is going to change their action, or do you think they're just going to be silent? I'll tell you, Unilever, we have to mention them, they own Ben & Jerry's. They sell Hellman's, Dove, Breyers, Klondike, Q-tips, Vaseline. They're getting very nervous, but we need Unilever to publicly condemn Ben & Jerry's that they own for, for doing this. They have not done so. So there should really be a boycott against Unilever products as well as Ben & Jerry's. I, I think this, in fact, is going to spread, especially in light of the fact that we've had so many physical attacks in America against Jews from coast to coast. This only emboldens Jew haters. Uh, and God forbid this will make uh, even more uh, attacks against Jews because they'll be inspired by this boycott by Ben & Jerry's. Ben & Jerry's actions 
are more harmful to the health of Jews than Ben and Jerry's ice cream is itself, which is a very unhealthy product. Aunt Charles, do you think that we're going to hear from the company? Because, you know, we hear from companies so much now when it comes to social issues, to political issues. Do you expect that we're going to hear from them at all? They're going to change anything? Well, as Mort said, there are 35 U.S. states that have legislation against boycott, as boycotting of Israel. So when you put all that muscle together, the bad press, the uh, drop in sales that will happen, and this really is, you know, this was the board chair of Ben & Jerry's, Anra Damidal. And if you look at what she's been writing for the, and her tweets for the past four or five years, just hatred against Israel. Uh, and, and it is nothing more than a manifestation of her hate in this boycott. So Unilever is a business. We vote with our dollars and the consumer has the right to do what they want with those dollars. And when you hurt a company's bottom line, they'll react. Look, Airbnb tried to do the same shtick in 2018. And they had to walk it back. They weren't promoting any any places in the West Bank, uh, Judea and Samaria, and in other places to be politically correct or whatever it means. You know, hating Jews is always politically correct, I, I guess. Yeah. And five months later, Airbnb had to walk back their decision due to the pressure that they're under. Yeah, so right. hopefully they'll get a taste of no pun intended, of, of their own medicine on this yeah. one. Yeah, no, you've, you've got some great points. Charles Mizrahi and Mark Klein, thank you so much, gentlemen. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Still ahead, New York State now reversing a decades-old law that allowed people under the age of 18 to get married, but the state's still allowing transgender minors to take life-changing hormones. How does this work? Let's discuss it after this. 